Well, COVID-19 has altered so many aspects of our lives, including dating. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio looks at what dating will likely look like after the pandemic ends. Dating can be pretty hard even in the best of times. Add in a pandemic, social distancing, quarantining, and you would think people would want nothing to do with dating, but it is booming. There are plenty of online apps and websites that people are flocking to, and researchers say that video chatting is going to permanently affect the way we date long past the pandemic. Online dating is now more popular than ever. Websites and apps for people of all ages and walks of life have been a source of refuge during the pandemic for singles looking to mingle. Many hesitant to meet people in person, at least right away, now doing Zoom or FaceTime dates. It's become the in thing, and relationship experts say that post-pandemic video chatting is here to stay. What singles are saying is that they're spending much more time on this video chatting, actually getting to know the person. They're having much more meaningful conversations with much more transparency and honesty and self-disclosure. Dr. Helen Fisher, who studies relationships, says this past year people have seen death, illness, and financial hardship, and that's led them to get more real about things. It really is a phase of intentional dating. The bad boy, the bad girl are out. Uh, long-term serious partnerships are in. I want to get to know someone on more of a personal level. 19-year-old college sophomore Nicole McIsaac says she spent the past year doing a little bit of swiping left and swiping right on dating apps, but was cautious about meeting in person. She thinks that attitude will stick post-pandemic. Personally speaking, if I do use one of the apps and I meet an individual and I'm like, hey, I think they're really cute. The first thing that comes out of both my mouths and my friend's mouths is, when was the last time they've been tested? We're really beginning to see um, what I've sometimes called um, a dating renaissance. I mean, this pandemic has been awful in many, many ways, but it is slowing down the dating process and enabling people to get to know each other uh, before the kissing starts. Of course, another theory is that history could repeat itself. <laughs> This scene from the film The Great Gatsby depicts the roaring 20s that followed the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. It was a reaction, a time of people craving social interaction and fun, and it's possible the 2020s could be a sequel. I know when the pandemic's over, although I might be a little cautious at first, I definitely will be wanting to go out and interact with other peoples and honestly live my best life. Dr. Fisher says that even so, people have realized during the pandemic they don't have to waste time or money on going out for dinner or drinks and that pre-screening people through video chatting is here to stay. If people begin to feel really safe again, maybe we will see something like the Roaring Twenties. I, regardless of that, I do think that we're going to do more video chatting because with the video chat, uh, you don't have to cope with sex, you don't have to cope with money, and you can get to know somebody before you end up going out with them. Whether it's a new Victorian era with conservative courtship or the Roaring Twenties 2.0, one thing's for certain post-pandemic is that people will never want to be lonely and the human desire to find love will never change. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.